Hello, Brands Pickles here. Today we are here with another server plugin tutorial, and today's plugin is quite a big one out there, and it's called Skills. Skills has been a big plugin out there, and it's on many towny servers, roleplay servers, and basically can be on factions as well. And basically, this allows you to your character have a skill and basically collect souls, level that account, basically level that up. And basically like a grind kind of plugin. So let's I'm gonna be showing you how to use all the commands as well as do the config file as well as do the placeholder API on like a scoreboard. So let's type the following command what's on the board here, which says skills. And this will show you basically a bunch of pages of your skills and etc. So that is a bunch of skills. So you got your boost for your souls you can select your skills change your skill party invite so there's a party system which you can basically grind xp together reset the player's data set player's soul count um, help too uh, you can set the souls which basically it just carries on from the top uh, start xp boost mastery page basically uh, help see so you can see the information about another player uh, set level for a certain player, so page 3. Uh, party accept, party leave, then you can see the stats. Improve, so you can improve your skill. So active messages, so use to toggle active skill messages. Uh, page 4, you can create a party, show the party, set the skill. So this is for like admins only, basically kind of commands. Uh, set stats uh, points, set stats XP. And then the last page is the skills info. So firstly we're going to select a skill. So if we do skill select. And you can see there's a bunch of skills what opens up on a GUI. So we've got basically how many we've got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 skills here. So basically this one gives you like a crossbow and it gives you uh, deals a lot of damage if the target fails to reach. Uh, basically in time, it knockbacks and uh, are weak in short range combat and only uh, relays on knockback to keep their enemies at bay. Then we've got swordsmen here, basically are strong in one on one battles and can win most other skills if fought well. Uh, swordsmen don't have a powerful range, so every skill has a weakness. So obviously your red is your weakness, your blue is basically the stats of what, not the stats, basically the description of the skill. Green is obviously your actual good um, information and then you've got your red which is your weakness. Uh, so this one's got nothing can run out, so you basically run fast all the time, so you're fast and uh, good at striking. Uh, so basically hit and run kind of thing, uh, have a weak defense, uh, you got your mage, so mage basically can counter many skills, mage relays out, basically runs out of mana, that's the weakness, fire mage, basically while health is spent on spells, the spells can deliver basically devastating blows in your foes. Um, fire, fire mage are weak, weak against fire resistance potions. Uh, juggernaut, so basically you're very strong, but I'm guessing this one's going to be you quite slow as well. Uh, very low output, although you are durable if you fail to dish out of any. Uh, then you got your vampire attacks, and you basically depletes your opponent's mana and you also have uh, have many healing abilities of your own vampires are rounded but can be outpaced by targets and this one's basically another quite attack one so we're going to just basically select the one so we're going to go with swordsman we always like the swordsman and now we can have a look at basically your improve menu so improve and you can see here you can improve your passive which is your strength so increase by one percent you got this is your dodge so your dex uh, dex again is your parry uh, 
and then you've got your pierce so if your strength is higher than your opponent's defense your attack will deal zero so this, again this all costs so that costs 100 100 100 and then you've got your thousand cuts and this costs 300 so to get that so if we get a sword uh, we need to get a diamond sword D sword one and if we go over here kill some of these piggies you can see that I'm gaining XP and it comes up in chat so every kill a pig I get I get XP here so you leveled up uh, so if we do skill level you can see here it will give me information of my strength is zero, dex is zero, int is zero and defense is zero, level one free souls so if we kill like a skeleton uh, I need to spawn mob, my bad this should stack yeah so this gives us a bit more XP, gives around about 6 XP for each one. It's just random each time. So let's level up. Harder the mob, hot, more XP you get. So basically you can see that when you level up your XP gets higher and higher. So it's not always at 50. And you can see here if we type in skill stats and you can add the stats to your skill. So if we click on strength, we leveled the strength up. Let's add one there, one there. And I've got no more stat points, so I'll put two there. And then if we click, basically that shows you how many stat points. And that basically shows you that and you can reset so if we click that it resets we've got four points here so let's put them back on here and there's that and if we do skill improve you can see here that I ain't got enough souls so we can add ourselves some souls so the set here so skill Set souls. Let's do a thousand. Uh, I need to add my name. Brands pickled. There we go. And let's improve. And now we can click to improve. So it doubles the amount. And there we go. And we need more souls. Let's just add 10,000. It'd be a lot easier. And there's that. There's that. And there's that. So that's all improved. Passive is now 5%, that's 30% of dodging, 10%, and that's that. So if we do um, level, you can see here I've got how, got 7,000 souls, level 2, strength is 2, and the int is 2, so we can go stats, uh, and we're going to set our level now. Set level, oh god, I spelled level wrong. There we go, you gain 90, no, that's not 19, that's 198,000, blah, blah, blah. So you can see my XP has gone absolutely crazy there. So stats. So we can literally just keep upgrading this. And the maximum, if I'm correct, is 100. So if we just quickly put our strength to 100. Neither. I think the maximum is 100. There we go, 99. And then we just literally add all points. Oh, there's actually all points there. So we're all level 100 there. And you can see here, if we go on improve, and obviously that's all done. And if we go level, you can see that's done. And if we kill like this cow, it's basically like a one hit now. Um, so if I like spawn, I don't know, Zombie ten. Let's keep doing that. Mob ten. And basically, sometimes he's he's hitting me. I'm basically basically I'm getting I'm dodging the um the hits. Why was there a chicken then? Basically, 
There's some times like I ain't got got. There we go. God mode is disabled now. There's look. There's a hit there. It's very look that hurt him. He basically gets hurt. For, look, you can see here. Dodge, dodge attack. He's hitting. He's hurting himself by hitting me. They again dodged. So let's just finish these off. So you can see here, I'm getting around about 5 XP. So if we do skills, uh, I'll just skills start, soul, that's one word, my bad, soul boost. And you can see times and then the multiplier. So we're going to do that and times it by 5. So now I get a lot more XP now and souls. So let's do XP as well. So if I'm correct, it's like that. Like that. Um, so literally the time is in seconds. So if we spawn more zombies. And the XP is quite high now. So if we actually make this even higher, so 500. And it's already in progress. So you can't stack the multiplier. So stop. I guess I don't know how to stop it, but that's fine. Uh, and then if we want you to change our skill, you just type in skill change and you choose the skill to change with. So if we want to go mage, you can see my health is going lower and lower. Ouch! And I, my character is now a lot weaker. And if I do skill... Um, level and you can see I'm still everything's 99 and if we do improve you can see these have been reset so this is all your mana stuff and if we just change to our swordman you can still need to basically have your stats so literally all your stats still get saved onto your flat file or your my SQL database um, so the next thing I'm going to be showing you is your scoreboard. So let me heal. Um, so if I just enable my scoreboard, and you can see here that let me get in a nice place. You can see here. I've got, here's my skill, my skill level, the XP. Obviously it's longer, but it's been cut off. Uh, and you can see basically there's a lot more. So you got your HP, you got your money, you got your boost. It tells you if there's a boost and activated, uh, your souls, your blood. You, basically, it shows you so much. So if we just go over to the spigot page now, and I'll show you everything on there. So here's the spigot page. It's been basically tested on 1.8 all the way to 1.12. It is a premium plugin now. Um, so if I click on this, uh, the pre it's only $5.99, and it's worth it. You can test the plugin with the free version it's only for 1.7 to 1.8 now uh, for the free version um, basically you only can have the three skills out of the eight but again you can, this, this is just for a testing uh, the plugin if you like it or not uh, but this is the free at uh, the premium one now so it's constant constantly getting updated uh, with more skills and basically here's the features so you leveling up system language file, 8 skills, stats, uh, safe experience levels, uh, GUI function, fully control of the XP gain from mob spawners so you can't just grind off mob spawners, uh, masteries, that's what I also want to show you, uh, configuration for the all skill cast, you got you give bonus for mobs with custom names so good for RPG servers party system to gain more XP and souls together you got your mana and energy for certain skills you got your API placeholder as well as uh, MVDW placeholder API you got your resi uh, resistance support, citizen support temporary XP boosters uh, then you got your stable mass uh, database and then requirements is basically all recommended so the requirements is obviously Spigot 1.7 all the way to 1.12, so the latest version of Minecraft. Um, highly recommended is the action bar, so it basically shows your health and your mana. So if we just quickly eye on this and show, there's no images, okay. But it shows you above your hot bar, it shows you the health, the mana and everything like that. And then you've got your particles, which shows some effects. 
and then you've got all your commands and permissions here so again I need to show you the masteries uh, then you've got your API so this is what I'm using the APIs so I'll be showing you again how to that like kind of set it up and then you again it's different on uh, the other placeholder so it's uh, the square uh, the squiggly brackets I forgot what it's called then you've got your stats system and then you've got your description of um, each class like so and then plan for the future so a page about the skills matters uh, customizable subclasses features so if you've got any features what should be added just can message them in the discussion uh, page uh, no refunds and then basically your terms of service uh, so you got your discussion here uh, it's got rating of 35 for four and a half stars it's got 900 uh, 396 downloads and if I'm correct the uh, the free version's got 3000 so it's quite a big one out there like I said previously so now if we go to the plugin folder so where it is skills and let's edit the config file first and then we'll go into the folders so you can see here XP gain so you got your special uh, XP gain so you get 10 XP for killing a creeper you get 100 XP for killing a wither and you get 500 XP for killing a uh, special uh, for an ender dragon and you got your special souls gain so you, for killing a player is 2, wither is 10, ender dragon is 50 uh, gains XP or souls disabled so if a player is in the nether and you want to disable getting the souls or whatever XP uh, in a certain world so like the nether you put world underscore nether in there and they won't be able to do it same with that one for no skills world then you've got your maximum level is uh, 100 then you've got your masteries cost is 20 then you've got your masteries is max is 5 then you've got your masteries uh, like a bunch of settings now so you can log harvest critical psych power glory basically got so many stuff for your masteries which again I'll be showing you any second after this configs uh, then you've got your action bar so basically that's above your hotbar if you've got the API installed show level in that in the action bar and more action bar stuff then you got your mob name bonus XP so a mob with a 30 uh, then you got your spawner support so percentage decreased by 0 0.1 spawner reward is true four skills pick so basically this when you join the server and you ain't got a, uh, a skill it will force you to pick a skill which is good because many people don't know about it and uh, then you've got souls or lose so if you die in a certain world you won't lose souls because when you die you do lose souls and then you've got your stats so the stats go up to 99 so you actually like your defense your ints your decks um, and everything like that and then basically when you level up it will say me has leveled up and it will broadcast to it basically the whole server and then the console will say kit level up player and then it says here so brands pickle uh, has picked swordman kit swordsman and etc this basically you get your kits and everything when you select that class so here's all your classes and then again uh, commands to perform and skill so me has picked swordsman to teleport to spawn and kit again and then you've got your mana regen so free 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 so you, again you can edit all of this uh, active cost and cooldown so 1000 cuts is 20 and 30 cooldown cost 20 30 cooldowns energy flux is 7 cooldown is 1 and then you've got your base cost so you've got your swordsman uh, your swordsman's is your dodge, your parry, your purse, and your thousand cuts. So this is how much each one it costs. So you buy one, level one, it will be a hundred. Level two, it will go two hundred, and level three, it will go three hundred. So it doubles every, doubles this number. So it will go to two hundred, and it adds another hundred onto two hundred. So it's three hundred. So for this one, it'd be three hundred, six hundred, and nine hundred, and it's same with the rest. Then you can disable or enable uh, classes, like so. Uh, items which cannot trigger um, basically abilities so if someone's got like a passive and someone's egg, uh, eggs you or snowballs you it won't activate that uh, block which cannot trigger um, uh, abilities so like anything what you right click so 
A beacon probably be a good one for this one. So let's add that ourselves. So beacon. And remember, everything what's being used here is using through spigot materials. Spigot materials, this page. So let's keep that open. And then you've got your scaling, so you've got your strength and time, so basically maths, a lot of maths. Uh, and that is basically showing you XP, so, um, XP in chat, and level requirements, and etc. like that. So now if we go to the language file and go to English, because it's the only one there. Uh, and then you can edit all this, like the name. So if you want to change the swordman's names, change the name like, I don't know. Um, John Snow. Let's go with that. Uh, and we want to change the energy or blood or mana. You can do. Uh, and then you can edit the descriptions and stuff like that. And then you can edit the commands, like what comes up. So you got your green text, you got your red text, etc. So that basically, you can edit every single language line on this plugin, which is amazing. Then you can see my UUID here, so it's UUID supported, which again is awesome. So you've got UUID is that, UUID is your main name. His, my skill is um, Swordsman's, my level is 10,002, my XP is 420, Souls is 7,496, and all my stats is level 99, my stats points, and then my improve stats. So this is literally every single class as well. So if I upgraded every single class, that basically would be like all threes. Then my masters, which I'll have to show you now. So if we go back to Minecraft and do skills, mastery. And you can see here that all this needs to be upgraded. So let's upgrade all of this. So literally, you can see here that's fully upgraded. All of it upgrades to level 5. Again, you can change this in the config file. So the price doubles every single time from the first number. So the first one's 20, it will go to 40, then it will go to 60, then 80, then 100, then 120. Uh, so again, we can just fully upgrade all this. So our mastery is basically going to be max here. And you can see on this bar here, You've got my energy, which is 89, HP is 195. You've got your uh, souls, which said 2000 there. And basically, now it can be a lot faster at doing stuff. So efficient and cutting trees. So, oh, I'm stuck. So if we just quickly go over here. I don't want to edit none of these. Let's edit it's these trees. Um, so if literally we go to our masteries and read the description, so you can basically break woods. But while well, when breaking logs, have a chance of getting five uh, planks instead of a one log. Uh, gain experience from cutting uh, logs and harvesting, mining. Um, then you got your if you have more than twenty health, regain health from eating food. And then you've got all different kind of stats, which is actually really good. So again, if we just get ourselves an axe. Uh, GMS. So we might get planks, it said. So there we go, five planks. And we are getting XP, a chance of getting XP when we mine. So again, planks. So basically, you get one extra plank. So when you put it in there, you get four, and you get a chance of getting five, which is really good. So now and then, you can see in the chat, I get my XP goes higher. So 30 XP for a random piece of log now and then. Uh, so this will go to 600 XP any second. Because obviously I've got my XP boost on as well. So let's try and get another boost XP. XP. I just want a bit of XP, please. There we go, 600. And so we basically got a bunch of... Um, a bunch of wood. So now the next thing I'm going to be showing you is the scoreboard. Just a quickly scoreboard. So I'm using a scoreboard called Animated Scoreboard, which is free. Featherboard is one of the big ones out there. Um, but again, we're using 
uh, animated scoreboard. So if we go to our default, and you can see here, we've got our line one is Brian's Pickle Tutorial, and I've obviously got the plugin name, then you've got Developer by Hex27, and then you've got the placeholders below. So basically how I formatted it is the name, and then the skill after. So basically you can see on Minecraft, so if I just quickly, you can see on Minecraft here, it says Skill Swordman on the uh, right hand side there. And then you've got your skill level and etc. like that. That's basically how simple that is in um, to set a scoreboard up. Uh, you can also, for like a chat plugin, you can put like the um, the skill before their name, so everyone knows what kind of skill you are, which is awesome. Um, so if I just quickly. Um, and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this episode of the tutorial so this is skill pro or if you want to test it it's called just normally called skills um, and yeah if you are a developer out there and you need a plug in tutorial or a showcase remember to put a message in the comment section or go to my Twitter or you can go to the spigot page or if you need any help with any plugin if you're a server owner out there or anything there is a minecraft help support link in the description which you can go to and basically many developers and server owners are there to help each other it's a helping community nothing um, that offensive or anything like that it's just all help 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 with minecraft so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a nice day. Peace.